What's up everyone, it's Q from RetroQ Gaming, and there's a lot of news coming out of Microsoft today, surprisingly enough. Be it the OG Xbox backwards compatibility, the 13 list of games that is actually releasing tomorrow will support the discs as well as digital versions of the games too, or the news that certain 360 games are getting proper Xbox One X patches and enhancements. Very strange. But on top of that, Microsoft and the Coalition have lifted the lid on their upcoming Xbox One X Gears of War 4 patch and enhancements. Previously, I was a little bit disappointed about this because only what they talked about before today, they had mentioned, oh, 4K 30 FPS in Campaign and Horde, 4K 60 FPS dynamic scaling in Versus, and 4K texture pack. But now they've actually gone in depth and in detail on every single thing that is going to be available in this 4K Xbox One X patch. And I'm actually very happy about it because they've broken it down and they've added something that they never specifically mentioned before, but is very, very important if you ask me. And let's face it, I'm always right. So I'm gonna go through every single one of these points and I'm gonna just talk about what it means and Basically what the, the benefits and advantages are, basically. So the first one is true 4K experience. Get ready to experience unmatched clarity, richness, and detail with true 4K visuals, 3840 by 2160, in our visuals rendering mode. Even if you're playing it on a 1080p screen, you'll instantly notice the difference thanks to a 4K super sampled image that brings you a crisper, richer looking Gears game than you've ever seen before. Now this makes sense on two points. So if you download the additional 4K texture pack, which is an optional extra if you have an Xbox One X, it basically lets you, it, it, first off, this gives you a hint to something that's key and important that we'll get to now in a minute. But the big thing is if you have a 4K TV, you can play at what they call true 4K, 3840 by 2160. So you're going to be playing at 4K, 30 FPS in your campaign and your horde, and it's going to have all the increased visuals. It's going to have all your high res textures, your 4K textures, blah, 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 etc. If you use this mode, and play on a 1080p TV, you will get a super sampled image of the higher quality assets. Personally, super sampling is great if you have the additional, what we got, the additional horsepower just left over and going to spare, but I'll get to why that isn't the case now in a second. But anyway, if you have the additional horsepower left over to spare, it's fine. But if you have to sacrifice certain things just to super sample an image, it's not worth it, if you ask me. Super sampling comes at a very, very high cost on your GPU. And the gains you generally get back from it are relatively not worth the cost. Again, it's really only worth doing if, you, if you've got the extra GPU power left over. Let me give you an example. I super sample almost every PC game I play. For the simple reason is I can max every PC game I play. I can maintain... 60 plus FPS in every PC game I play. So because of that, at max settings with an acceptable frame rate and beyond, I can afford to use that extra GPU power that's just left over sitting around doing nothing to get a slightly better image. But if you have to say compromise graphical settings or frame rate or whatever, just to super sample a game, it's not worth it. Anyway, moving on to the next point, HDR, high dynamic range. High dynamic range provides increased contrast between lights and darks. Battling your way through a lightning flurry in a wind flare has never looked better. Gears of War 4 on Xbox One X supplies, supports a wide color gamut for true to color definition, just as the artists intended, and now at a 4K resolution. So HDR is, well we all know what HDR is at this point, but just in the odd chance you don't know, it's essentially a wider color palette. Let's for example say your, now this is just arbitrary numbers just to give a comparison. Let's say your standard game without HDR supports, let's call it a million colors. So you have a million different levels of contrast. Whereas a game with, say, HDR might support maybe 12 million colors. So there's a serious difference in there. Essentially, the best comparison I can give you for HDR, if you were around in the mid to late 2000s, because if you know tech, you will know that plasma TVs were factually and technically better than LCD TVs. One of the main reasons being their contrast had a huge, significantly higher natural, not dynamic, contrast ratio. So the colors were always so much better 
on plasma TVs. LCDs were always trying to use tech and other types of things to actually emulate what plasma TVs could do. And because of that, there was such a huge difference in the contrast available. Think of it this way. Your base Xbox One is an LCD TV. Your modern Xbox One X is a plasma TV. Or for those of you younger people or who aren't up on, well, what would basically be legacy tech these days, your base Xbox One is an LCD TV. Your Xbox One X is an OLED TV. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, here's the big, imp the most important part of this entire video that I'm gonna make here. I briefly kind of alluded to this previously in the 4K paragraph. But anyway, here's the next part that they never talked about before that is the most important thing. Up to 60 frames per second for ultra smooth gameplay. We're excited to announce that Xbox One X owners will have two preferred rendering options to choose from in Gears of War 4, visuals mode and performance mode. So performance mode, put frame rate first. For the first time ever on console, Gears of War will play at up to 60 frames per second in 1080p in Campaign and Horde. Let me read that again. At up to 60 frames per second in 1080p in Campaign and Horde. Anyway, continuing on before I fanboy a little bit over it. All including higher resolution textures and some, remember some, of the new enhanced graphical textures, or sorry, graphical features available in visuals mode. And then of course we have visuals mode. Push graphics fidelity to the max. This mode uses ultra quality textures, aka PC settings. A wealth of new and improved graphical features all at a 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 thanks to the power of Xbox One X. You'll experience the same frame rates you've come to expect from Gears of War 4, 30 frames per second for Campaign and Horde. In both rendering modes, Versus will run at a rock solid 4K 60fps with adaptable resolution scaling. Now, here's why this is the most important part and I'll get to it for my own reasoning on it too. First off, frame rate is king. That's there's no question about it. Frame rate is the mo arguably the most important thing when playing a game because it is literally how you play the game. It controls absolutely everything that you do in the game, how you respond to it, how quick it is, how fast you can notice everything happening, your ability to aim smoothly, your ability to move smoothly, react accordingly, etc, etc. Frame rate is the most important thing when it comes to gaming. And in performance mode that they had never previously talked about, remember at the start of this video I mentioned that they had only ever mentioned 4K 30fps in Campaign and Horde and 4K adaptive... 60 FPS versus that's all they had mentioned before there was no talk of performance mode There was no talk of visuals mode visual was just the standard basically, but now they've given people the option for this people I Encourage you out there unless you have a 4k TV and even then I would be very Still very hesitant to do do that if you have an Xbox one X play Gears of War 4 in performance mode if you have a 1080p TV, play it in performance mode. If you have a 4K TV, I would still argue play it in performance mode. I personally play Gears of War 4 on PC at over 100 frames per second at 1440p completely maxed out. And I will tell you the difference is absolutely night and day. Now you may be wondering, you know, why am I so excited about a mode like this? Well, there's two reasons. One, it's great that I can finally Hmm, what's the best way to describe this? I can finally give a tangible benefit and a tangible evidence to other people about just how important 60 frames per second is. Again, I've, I play Gears of War 4 at over 100 frames per second. I am used to this high frame rate and how different, because I originally came from Gears of War 4 on the Xbox. I didn't upgrade to Windows 10 until earlier this year. So I had previously got several months of experience with 30 frames per second Gears of War 4. And the difference is absolutely night and day. Frame rate over visuals every time. And the second reason why this one is more important to me is we all know, well, if you're a PC gamer that unfortunately has to use UWP for certain things because Microsoft only releases them on, on the, the Windows 10 store. If, like me, you have Gears of War 4 on PC, you probably know about some of the issues that currently, I won't say currently player plague Gears of War 4 because they don't plague that game specifically. Currently, there are a bunch of issues that have been going on for about six months. I believe it was maybe April or May of this year when Microsoft uh, kind of announced that they fucked up. But 
Ever since then, UWP games on Windows 10 can have stutter. And when I mean stutter, basically it makes Gears of War 4, as well as whatever other games, I don't play any other, other, other UWP games, but for me personally, Gears of War 4 suffers from this UWP stutter. This hasn't been fixed yet, six or seven months down the line. So I can't play Gears of War 4 at the moment. The reason for that is because this stutter I talk about happens randomly, maybe every 10 or 20 seconds, yes, that often, and it basically stutters my game down to 0 FPS, everything completely freezes for a second or two. So imagine that. Imagine playing at over 100 frames per second, and then it just drops down to 0 for maybe 2 seconds every 10 or 15 or 20 seconds. It is extremely common. In the course of a single Gears Horde mode round, it would probably happen upwards of 20 times. That's completely unplayable. And I haven't been able to play or enjoy Gears of War since. I did once for a day because there was the quad XP thing. It was a nightmare. So personally, to me, until they fix the PC version because of the fucking shit that is UWP, I can now play Gears at 60 FPS on console. Now, I, I only play Horde. I really only play Horde. So I'm looking forward to that part of it. Anyway, on to, on to the rest of the video. Dolby Atmos audio support. When playing Gears of War 4 on Xbox One, we now offer Dolby Atmos, which gives you the most immersive moving audio. The Dolby Access app lets you set up your Dolby Atmos enabled home theater, TV or soundbar for free. Of course it's for free. I mean, you've already paid the licensing fees for whatever. Anyway, back to the point, and lets you try or buy Dolby Atmos for headphones. Wait a minute, they're selling it separately? Let's you try or buy Dolby Atmos for headphones. Anyway, which gives you immersive sound on any headphones. Experience the visceral sounds of Gears of War 4 in a way that makes you feel like you're inside the action only on Xbox One. Now, Dolby Atmos is great if you have a Dolby Atmos system. It's obviously the, the more advanced and upgraded version of what we used to have as Dolby Digital 5.1, which moved on to Dolby Digital HD Master Audio, which is now Dolby Digital uh, Dolby Atomos support, which is the, the current one. Good news for people who have a, a setup like that. I don't currently have one at the moment. I only have a standard Dolby Digital 5.1 setup. But when I overhaul my entire system with a new TV, I'm still rocking a 1080p at the moment. But when I overhaul it with a, a 4K TV, there will be a Dolby Atomos setup. Anyway, on to the, the, the more detail, the actual visuals and, and graphical quality upgrades here. Our most immersive world. The world of Sarah has never looked more immersive thanks to brand new features and higher, te higher resolution textures, all possible with the additional horsepower and memory offered by the Xbox One X. Enhanced lighting shafts, also known as God Rays. Enhanced lighting shafts provide true-to-life beams of sunlight in the world. Prepare for jaw-dropping lighting, lighting as the god rays peek through gaps in, in the canopy of trees above you, or in the sunset conditions peeking through the buildings and statues. Dynamic shadows. Shadows in Gears of War 4 are usually predefined by an artist to accurately reflect the shadows, objects in the world, would cast based on lighting. That is missing a comma right there, because that one kind of made no sense at first. On Xbox One X, dynamic shadows now react true to lighting conditions and movement of objects. For example, trees blowing in the wind will cast an accurate moving shadow on the ground, bringing the world of Sarah to life never before. Both of these things are just standard PC fare for the last 10 years, but you, you see my point, they're, they're upping their game. Better light shafts, better light graphics, basically. Dynamic shadows is, well, it, it's not pre-baked shadows. You don't have a specific static shadow. It's all relative to where the light sources are actually coming from in real time. Increased draw distance. With the power of Xbox One X, we can maintain higher resolution textures at a further distance than ever before, creating a higher fidelity picture and crisper world around you, even on the horizon. Now this makes sense because usually what games do is in the, the immediate vicinity around you that you can see easily at a close range, they will have your higher resolution, higher quality textures. So you, you can see all the detail because you're going to notice it because you're up close. What games usually do is sometimes called LOD or LOD. From a far away distance, they will use a more basic version of the texture because it's off in the distance. Maybe it's like a, a mile down the road or on a hill in the background or whatever. Because you, you're not close enough to see the individual detail on it, they'll use lower quality shadows or 
shadows with or not shadows my apologies uh, lower quality textures or textures with lower level of detail lod lod and then when you get closer they'll bring in newer higher quality shadows so you are, why do i keep saying shadows textures so you can see the actual detail and all as you get within range that you could possibly notice that stuff superior reflections We've pushed our surface space reflections even further to look closer to you as you would expect in real life. Reflective surfaces now have a higher definition reflection of your character, whether that's in a mirror-like reflection of water or the muddied color reflective nature of metal. It looks especially awesome on the DB's metallic armor. They're basically just improving the resolution of reflections, which obviously is always a good thing because it looks better. Enhanced character textures. With our higher resolution textures now available on console thanks to Xbox One X, aka they're just using the PC ones, characters show more detail from head to toe. They've never looked better. Unless, of course, you already have a PC. And then they just go on to say that experience this all at no extra cost for Gears of War 4 owners when you pick up your Xbox One X. And if you've already picked up your Xbox One X but haven't jumped into Gears of War 4 yet, you can try it for free now with our 10 hour trial. The perfect showcase piece for your new super powered console. We're incredibly proud of, of what the team has been able to achieve on Xbox One X so far. We can't wait to see you all experience this feast for your eyeballs. The Coalition. So that's basically it I have to say for the video. Again, now it's great that they're giving people the option. It's giving people the option to play at 4K 30fps with higher graphical settings. I don't know why you would do this when you have the option to play at 1080p 60 frames per second at still a higher quality than the base original version. I implore everyone out there, play if you have an Xbox One X or you're getting an Xbox One X. Play Gears of War 4 in performance mode. The difference is unreal. Excuse the pun on Unreal Engine 4. And again, this one benefits me personally as well because for some reason I'm buying an Xbox One X and now that I know I can play Gears of War 4 Horde mode at 1080p 60fps with improved graphics over the base version of the game because my PC version is forced to use that piece of dirt that is UWP, until that's fixed, at least I can still play the game now. Anyway, I've gone on way too long in this video, probably ranting for a little bit about the quality and performance and all, but yeah, personal idiosyncrasies. Si idiosyncrasies? Yeah, there you go. My own personal ones of those prevent me from making higher quality videos, but these are already high quality videos, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below, do you plan on using your Gears of War 4 and Xbox One X? What mode do you plan on using? What features are you looking forward to using after hearing from this list? With the, the enhanced textures, reflections, shadows, lighting, blah blah blah, 4Ks, 30fps, 1080p, 60fps, with improved graphical settings, what mode are you going to use and why? Let me know all that good stuff anyway in the comments section below, as well as if you've been hit by the crippling stutter of UWP, aka universally worst platform. Other than that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.